Hi everyone, as part of my mission to complete my works in progress, I am on this page in World of Flowers. Um, I just zoom out a little for you, so it's going to be a bit of an awkward zoom because uh, I've got the page in a funny place. You can't see all of this, I can't zoom out anymore. I'm not going to move my book, it's taken me ages to get it in the right position. So this one and this bug we have done videos of. Now this one I did a video of the postcard version so I'm not going to do you one from this page because uh, obviously I've done it before. So this is the last one really that I thought I would do as a video. Now all of the bugs I did with different brands of pencils so I thought I would do the same thing with this one. And I've chosen my castle arts. I've decided that because this top one here, which you can't see now, is orange and green, and the other one is pink and green, it's got a little bit of purple in, I thought I'd like to do this one purple so it sort of stands out. So I picked my castle arts. Um, this is the 72 set because they've got such lovely purples. Now we have got a lot of leaf work going on so what I thought I would do is do a purple background on the main bug and then uh, hopefully the sort of whole purpley idea will come across so ooh, my pencil's a bit precariously balanced on the edge of my desk I'm just going to sharpen away and get started really now we have the body and the head bits to do. I'm just going to start with the Purple Lake Deep. This is my favourite purple and it might be the only one we need to use. I'm going to do this section first because I think it looks the easiest. Because we've got little odd bits and bobs there. And my plan is to try and make it a little bit darker on the edge and lighter towards the centre of the bug just to try to make him look a little bit rounded. It may not come through that well. We've got all this leaf detail as well. So we'll see. It's, uh, it's worth a try. And we'll try and do the same with the head as well and see what happens. So I hope you're all well today. Um, it's, uh, it's a lovely sunny morning here really cold last night well minus three I know it gets a lot colder both in the UK parts of the UK and um, around the world but it was three the day before and then minus three so it's quite a big jump but I like um I like snuggling up when it's cold so uh, it was rather nice to be honest I always sleep well when it's cold I uh, I'm lucky I've got a nice warm um, thick duvet and, uh, and a radiator of a husband, which always helps. Okay, I'm just looking to see if I'm happy with that. At the moment I am. I'm going to move on to the head part and do the same sort of thing. Now with this one I'm going to go around the bottom as well. Um, I want to make it look like the head is sort of rounded. It's quite a strange shape, isn't it? But then I haven't looked at bugs in detail. Um, I'm not I don't, they don't scare me or anything, but I'm just not a massive sort of so much of a fan that I want to look at lots of pictures of them in great detail. But I guess if you look at them closely, maybe they do look a bit like this. I know that when um, Johanna is um, doing her books, she would often use reference guides and things. I remember her having a book of um, mushrooms and toadstools um, when she was doing enchanted forest I seem to remember gosh it's a long time ago but uh, she likes to sort of have some basis on reality and I think she just gives her some um, a bit of um, an idea of what she wants to do and then she sort of goes her own way and does something cute so I'm trying to make that lighter in the middle but it's completely unsuccessful because I was talking so I'm going to emphasize those dark edges a little more and then I'm going to erase it a little bit from the middle to make it a little bit paler. Um, you can use um, pencil doesn't colored pencil doesn't always erase that well but it will stain the paper but that's okay because um, I'm not going to take it all the way back just take a little bit off. Okay I'm just looking here. It looks a little bit like I've missed a bit there. Um, there we go. Okay. Now the flowers, 
I quite like in purples as well. What I think I'm going to do is get, I've got a darker purple here. I purposely left my darker purple aside in case I needed to darken bits of that. But I think I'm happy. I really like that shade. I don't want to add another one in. So I'm going to use the mulberry, which is, as I say, the darkest purple, to just do the edges of the um, little flowers here. And they'll stand out a little bit then, hopefully. So we don't have a lot of floral on this um, bug, actually. And I'm going to do the um, centre as well. Like, oops, like that. Now, I'm looking at the flower. What should we do? We all can go... Yeah, I think we'll go heather purple. It's a slightly lighter shade. I think it will work well. So let me just show you. This is the heather purple. Sorry, the light is a bit rubbish in here. It's. Uh, I don't know whether it's any better in the summer, really. The position of my desk is not a lot of natural light. But uh, I could move it. I have thought about it, but it's... Um, it's uh, tricky, so uh, I don't. I could move, so I was in the same room as the family. We've got like a um, lounge diner, I suppose you would call it. Um, I am going to use the heather purple for this bit here. I'm sure it's supposed to be a leaf, but I think if we do everything green, it's going to be a bit over the top, and uh, we could just pretend it's a petal. And, uh, and just add a little bit of colour. So this is the heather purple. You could use one of the other purples if you wanted. I just thought I would use the light one. I'm just trying to make it a little bit darker around the edge. I think it makes it look a little bit more attractive. It's up to you. Okay, so we need some greens that go with purple. Um, I'm having a look at what I've got in here. Um, the Viridian is quite a dark green. We've got a sallow. We've got a thallo light. I think I used the thallo green. Um, I'm not sure whether to use just the one or several. I think we've got so much greenery. It might make more sense to use a couple of different greens, actually. Rather than going down to the thallo light, which might be similar to the thallo, I'm going to use the viridian with the thallo. So I'm going to do the viridian first and all the places that I think a dark green might work. And then we'll add in the thallo green after. I'm sure that's the right way to say thallo because I looked it up once. And of course the internet is always right. <laughs> it was one of those where you can um, go to a dictionary and press a sort of thing that um, gives you someone speaking the word. And it sounded convincing. So those two dark and then these bits light. Maybe this bit dark here. Um, hmm. maybe I'll do all the bits that aren't little leaves in this I'll have a think as I go through but I'm just sort of fading a little bit towards the tip I like doing that you can just do a solid colour if you'd rather but uh, I just like to fade it a little it takes practice but it's quite good blending practice um, yeah, we'll do a little here as well in fact, I might do these two as well. Make that one the different colour. Just be fun. I was saying something and I interrupted myself. I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Never mind. But uh, yeah, what I will do, because um, we've got the four videos now for this page, I will pop the links to them in the um, description. So if you haven't come across them or you haven't done them yet and you want to have a look and um, they'll all be there for you. Um, I might leave that and go on to the fallow and just see how it starts developing. So this is just the um, oops, fallow green. For this thinner bit, I'm just going to do it quite hard like that and then fade towards the tip of the leaf if I can. I haven't, it doesn't look that obvious, it's quite a small space. 
but it's quite good as I said good blending practice and stuff um, reducing your pressure on the pencil I know it's tricky and some people struggle more than others obviously it depends on whether you've got any hand problems I know some people have nasties like carpal tunnel or um, so here I'm trying to make this darker at the bottom or arthritis or things like that um, but um, also I find that pressing hard is something that I used to find very painful just muscular pain from lack of practice if I don't colour very much I always colour every day I would never not but some days um, if I'm working um, doing my freelance writing I might only do five or ten minutes in the day and so if I have a few days like that and then I have a day of colouring wow do my hands ache but um, normally I'm well practiced and it's okay so even a little amount of time not colouring a lot can uh, make quite a big difference I've got these dots I think I'm going to use the darker viridian for those I hope you can see that a little bit oh excuse me sniffing it's not very nice is it right more floors trying to fade towards the tip so one way is to layer it up here see I'm going over and over and then a bit less as we go up there try not to leave a white bit there like I did I love the vibrancy of the colours in the um, castles, pencils, they are nice. Do you have to watch um, the prices though, they vary massively um, during the course of the year. I noticed that um, sort of in about October, November time, the prices were quite low, um, they were on sale. And they put them up over at Christmas time, which isn't really surprising. I'm sure most companies do that. And then they had a post-Christmas sale and the prices still weren't as low as they were before Christmas. And then they came down again. So I would advise just keeping an eye, really. Um, see when the prices come down. Also, um, my link has a code. If you're a first-time buyer from the Castle website you can get a discount code sometimes it's cheaper to buy them from the website sometimes it's cheaper on Amazon and that varies and obviously it depends where you are in the world as to uh, whether they deliver where you are which um, from the website I don't I haven't looked into it so I wouldn't know I missed that bit out there which should be in the Viridian so I'll just swap pencil to do that there now these little leaves you may have seen over here, I'm trying to make them look a little bit darker here so that it looks like there's a little bit of shadow where the leaves are overlapping. It's really simple. So yes, yeah, so Castle, yeah. But I like their products and I'm lucky enough to have quite a few, which is nice. And, uh, and so that's lovely. But uh, I've only used their pencils. They say products, pencils. They do paints and all sorts of things as well, other art things. I have, don't, can't speak for those. Um, but I know people that use them. So, but they are obviously a budget um, range. The thing, my biggest criticism is the wood on the pencils seems quite splintery. But to be honest, I don't think that matters. It doesn't... It doesn't affect me really in my it might get a little bit on the page if you've just sharpened it but you can sweep that off it's not a biggie so I've left this one because I think I'm gonna do it in the heather purple to match the one that I did up there I just think it might work and we it gives us an extra splash of purple I'm sure this is supposed to be a leaf okay but you know you can choose whether you do it like this or not you might want to do it in the viridian to do a dark green trying to do a bit lighter in the middle a bit darker on the edge yeah 
I'm looking in the camera just to see what I think, but I think I am happy with that. Um, that was quite a quickie, wasn't it? But that was nice. So as I say, there'll be a description for all the bugs in the um, in the video. So if you want to have a go or just have a look, um, they're all there for you. So thank you for watching. I hope you have um, a lovely day and uh, happy colouring.